The mistress of all evil turned out to live happily ever after in the 2014 self-titled movie Maleficent, but it seems her story arc has not yet been laid to rest with the announcement of Maleficent, mistress of evil. Maleficent is by far my favourite Disney villain of all time, and there's a good reason for that. She is just evil for the sake of being evil. There's no motivation, there's no justification, just pure malevolence. If there was a motive for her to kill Baby Aurora, it was just because she wasn't invited to their glittering assemblage. What an awkward situation. And voice actress Eleanor Audley had the perfect voice to portray her. To show I bear no ill will, I too shall bestow a gift on the child. Back in 2014, I was so excited to hear that she was getting her own movie from her, the villain's perspective, which is such a rare premise for any movie really, especially for Disney. Of course, Angelina Jolie was a perfect casting choice too. To top things off, Tim Burton was originally set to direct. However, Disney being Disney once again kicked him out for his darkness and creative differences. It was just too good to be true. However, upon the movie's release, I had a lot of mixed feelings. I get why they had to give Maleficent a backstory and motive, and I would have liked it being a bit darker and scarier. But it was clever how they introduced characters like Diavol, and I can't even count the amount of times I've watched that christening scene. <laughs> However, something I couldn't stomach was the third act of the movie and her gradual transition to the good side. And in the end, her being the saviour of the kingdoms. Completely conflicting the character of Maleficent. I get it, it's a Disney movie, but Sleeping Beauty had a happy ending and managed to keep Maleficent pure evil till the very end. Now recently, the official Maleficent Twitter account have been teasing the movie with on-set photos, but upon hearing of a sequel, I'd actually lost interest. Who wants a Maleficent movie when she's on the good side? But then came the official poster, including its title. The sequel is titled Mistress of Evil, and you can't call a movie that if it's not who she is or becomes. Now it's got me excited for the possibilities. Will she betray Aurora and the people of their kingdom? Will she at last transform into a dragon herself and meet her tragic end as the fairy tale originally told? The sequel surprisingly has been moved up by seven whole months, due for release on October 18th, 2019 instead of May 2020. The main speculation being it would have less competitors releasing that weekend, giving it the best chance to succeed. Maleficent 2 has the original cast returning, however also has some newcomers. Michelle Pfeiffer, Ed Skrine, and Harris Dickinson. In the director's chair, Norwegian filmmaker whose name I'm probably going to massacre, Joachim Ronning, from Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales fame. But he's no Tim Burton. I have already got unfairly high hopes for this sequel, but there's a big part of me that's still thinking Disney will be too heavy-handed with the happily ever after nonsense. But what do you think? What were your thoughts on the original Maleficent, and what do you expect from the sequel? I'll be chatting with you guys in the comments. But until next time, this is Matt Rogers, and that is all.